Welcome everyone to essentially what I've said, I was a man of my word, a game that is going to make me rip my hair out, rage, and you're going to have a lot of fun and laughter. This is Dark Souls Remastered. I am not blind to this series, not by a long shot. I did play the original Dark Souls back in my freshman year of high school. For that, those aren't aware, I graduated in 2016. So, freshman year 2012. 12, so you can kind of see the big time gap when I played it originally to the remastered. So more of this is going to be blind to me remembering this and this about everything. Like, I'm not blind or anything, like completely blind, but I do know how to play the games. Anyway, let's get started. <laughs> Is set up. Alright. Uh, Her name really doesn't matter. Let's go with. of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. But then there was fire, and with fire came disparity. Heat and cold, life and death, and of course, light and dark. Then from the dark they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. The first of the dead. The witch of Isolith and her daughters of Chaos. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy 
so easily forgotten. With the strength of lords, they challenged the dragons. Gwyn's mighty bolts peeled apart their stone skins. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death and disease. And Seath the scaleless betrayed his own, and the dragons were no more. Soon the flames will fade, and only dark will remain. Even now, there are only embers, and man sees not light, but only endless nights. And amongst the living are seen Carriers of the accursed dark side. I will say I always love the um the main cinematics. Definitely gives you a feel of the story. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. And in this land, the undead are corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world.
take note. Remember this pretty fucking well. Remember that pretty fucking well. The asylum demon. If someone can actually do that, like kill that thing without past this. Where? jump from now remember this oh come on I know that thing's the roll nope all right hello there oh you you're no hollow thank goodness I'm done for I'm afraid I'll die soon then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Okay. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. And thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, now you know. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favorite. Ah, uh, yay. The Estus flask. Oh, and this. Oh, thank you. Now I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. Bonfires, flinch the Estus class. So... 
Nope. Okay. So what I'm trying to do here is learn how to, uh, to parry. It's a lot easier once you know what the trick is. Once you know the trick, it's pretty easy. Some enemies are very easily destroyed by parrying, so that's what we're going to try and do. I you say that guy's kind of like the, uh, the test dummy. So, so. Now, these guys, I know you really can't parry. If they do the flurry attack, you're basically dead. There we go. So that noise that you heard, that is a successful parry. I'm gonna have to learn how to do that more effectively. But Legends, it is stated that one day an undead shall be chosen. To leave the undead asylum in pilgrimage to the land of the ancient lords. Lordran.
There's no salvation here. You'd have done better to rot in the undead asylum. Huh. Too late now. <sighs> well, since you're here, let me help you out. There are actually two bells of awakening. One's up above in the undead church. The other is far, far below, in the ruins at the base of Blight Town. Ring them both. And something happened. Brilliant, right? Not much to go on. But I have a feeling that won't stop you. So, off you go. It is why you came, isn't it? To this accursed land of the undead? <laughs> well, there's our objective. Humanities. Basically like uh, the embers of three. Um, I'm gonna be perfectly blunt with you. I remember this before you did Um, don't, and I mean, don't go into this graveyard. You think, like, oh, easy area to grind out XP and currency. Wrong. Wrong. Be dead fucking wrong. I remember that pretty vividly. Those skeletons are brutally hard. And if you can make it back there, you'll find out that there's even bigger ones. So, we're not gonna go over there. We're way stronger. I think, I think we can at least talk to this guy. Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus of Thoroughland. Have you business with us? If not, I'd prefer to keep a distance, if possible. I think he can give you something. Hello there. I realize that I... But I also want you to know that it is not here. No. Yep. Copper coin. Yep. So... Mm -hmm. But, you know, that's eh, just me. This is for later, I know that for a fact. Lost Soul of the Undead. So, every now and again we'll come across those lost souls. Break them for a set amount of souls. Save them. Better save them. I know when you might need one. But, we're gonna head. Let's go. Let's get 10 as this. And we're pretty much. Oh, 
god. Rats. They give you a poison buff. Early game it will kill you. Damage at the time. some really good ones. Very 
Diary of Saint. Well, now, you seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> All right. Purchase. We'll grab that. Resident key. Pair box. That is something we need to grab. But I want to grab where? I think it's the short bow. You're kind. All right. Uh, that bow and all those arrows will come useful later because I know of a sword that we can grab that is fairly powerful early game. Someone's trying to uh, rest. throwing those fireballs at me. Oh, hi! Um, okay. Chain is coiled in. Okay, good. Black fireballs. Nice really great against stuff that is of the abyss, sort of magic, if you would prefer. Firebomb. Oh god. You can get up here.
Gold pine resin. That enables a lightning effect on weapons. And that's gonna be pretty powerful. Uh, okay, this guy wants to come. Come on. Come on. There's a guy in the, the tower up on the crossbow, but I'm trying to leave him alone. That's our way up to the next area, but we're going to come back for this guy much later. That is an instance of a Black Knight. These guys are extremely fucking powerful at this level of the game, and if we're lucky, I hope God we get lucky, I would love a sword. Trap. Come on. Nope. So I know for a fact we can open this door up with the master key. Now I know who's down here. I know someone's down here. He's not too pleased. He should be right. No. Next level. No, he's in here. Where is he? No. I know he's in here. Where is he? I'm gonna try to get a peek at him. Come on. There he is. Hi, Havel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Dragon Tooth Club and me equals red pancake. So, we're gonna avoid that. Barrels. No, we need. Okay. Okay. So, beating beat to a pulp. That is true. So, what I do is. Okay. okay. It doesn't happen initially. Okay. I'm gonna take care of this guy right above me. There is an archer right above me. do is, I know what, how this is going to pan out. 
walk over. He should appear for there he is. Go. Taurus demon. resin and then that jump attack really makes him pretty easy. We're actually gonna, I'm gonna equip that. We're gonna save some of that resin for later. And he should be, he should be, there he is. Praise the Sun Lord himself, Solaire. Ah, hello. You don't look hollow, far from it. I am Solaire of Astora, an adherent of the Lord of Sunlight. Now that I am undead, I have come to this great land, the birthplace of Lord Gwyn, to seek my very own son. You find that strange? Well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> <laughs> so there. Oh, aha. So I didn't scare you. I have a proposition, if you have a moment. Okay. The way I see it, our fates appear to be intertwined. In a land brimming with hollows, could that really be mere chance? So what do you say? Why not help one another on this lonely journey? All right. This pleases me greatly. Well then, take this. White soapstone. We are amidst strange beings in a strange land. The flow of time itself is convoluted, with heroes centuries old phasing in and out. The very fabric wavers, and relations shift and obscure. There's no telling how much longer your world and mine will remain in contact. But use this to summon one another as spirits, cross the gaps between the worlds and engage in jolly cooperation. Of course, we are not the only ones engaged in this, but I am a warrior of the sun. Spot my summon signature easily by its brilliant aura. If you miss it, you must be blind. <laughs> OK, we got Solaire. So if we ever see a summon sign when we are humanized, which we might do, mind you, that enables PvP, if we see a summon sign near a boss door, it could mean that there is a another player or a PC that is willing to help us take on a boss. However, that means the boss will have increased HP. And that could mean trouble in more ways than one. Sure, you have an extra sword hand, but that doesn't mean the boss is going to be easy. Okay, so, um... Where is that dragon? Uh, no matter. Okay. Found it. Somewhere that I must pass it. No, 
Well, that's the boss room. Where is it? Because we're right by the, um... That's weird. There's a shortcut to our last used bonfire. Ah, here it is. And there we go. I knew I was going crazy. You'll find out that this world is really interconnected. It's very. very slow methodical process, but this guy drops a very powerful sword and cut his tail off. slow. 
attacking. And it's not item to appear. Plus, that killed the dragon, it seems. Okay, I want to see the staff on that. Yep. Weapon, I need... I need 16 strength.